Hey guys, T-Minus today, Dave here. Today I just wanted to do a quick little video on a little utility that I found while I was working. Um, it's actually called the GPU Profiler and it records your CPU, your RAM, your GPU, and then your frame buffer for your GPU. And I thought it was pretty interesting and I thought I'd share it with you. So here's the tool that I was, that I was talking about. And as you can see, there's um, little graphs down here and on the top here, it shows you what it, it's doing. There's the CPU, it's the red, RAM is blue, GPU is green, the frame buffer is this light blue one, the encoder and the decoder are also, the encoder is yellow and the decoder is purple here. <clears throat> and it's pretty cool. You can change the display options, you can set the interval. Let's just pop open a couple of programs here. Okay, frame buffer is climbing, awesome. Okay, the GPU utilization just spiked super hard and you've got your frame buffer right at 40%. I need to turn down the sound here. Okay, so here we are. We're running the Heaven benchmark and we're getting 150 frames per second. Great, whatever. Our GPU is loaded and you can see that over here. You can see how much it's, it's loaded out right here. You've got these analytics options and a really cool thing that you can do after you're finished with it, you can export this data and it gives you an Excel spreadsheet with all these values. It's pretty cool. It's almost like the um, the OCAT scanner in a way. Um, I know this is a pretty specific tool, but I it works well for what um, I use it for at work. We look at frame buffers and you know if you're deploying VMs, how big is the frame buffer going to be for a specific user in a VM? So it's just it's just kind of cool to look at you know to be running a game and seeing if your frame buffer like the <clears throat> actual RAM on your on your GPU if it's getting saturated, if it's not. It's a cool thing to run in the background while you're doing stuff. I didn't really have anything else to say about this, this specific tool. I just thought it was a pretty cool tool. I'll uh, link it in the description. So, and that's the other cool thing. Like when you're actually, I guess I could probably pull up a YouTube video, right? Let's do a Hot Ones, right? Okay, so we got Hot Ones going as well. So is the decoder being utilized at all? I don't see the decoder being used like at all. What are the decoders? I'm actually getting some stutters over here. So let's take the stats for nerds. So I'm actually dropping frames here. Let's take a look at my CPU. So my T CPU is only loaded up at 41%. My GPU is completely hammered. My video encoder is running at 11%. Uh, my video decoder is at 0%. The copy is at 1%. But I can also see that from this tool that I have running. I need more than one screen. That's for sure. So we have 90 frames dropped. Uh, we're not dropping frames anymore, which is nice. Anyway, I thought it was a really cool tool that you could just kind of analyze. And once it's done, let's go ahead and hit stop here. We'll go ahead and uh, close all this stuff out. So we've got this great graph. It's got all this stuff. So now we can export it. We can export to just a CSV file. Isn't it sad when I have to upload an Excel document to Google just so I can view it? because I don't have a key anymore. So check that, check this out. Now I have these values, time in seconds. So every second that we went through, I have a value tied to it and I could graph this. It's kind of cool. Anyway, it just has values that you can plot. So that's the GPU profiler. It's a pretty cool tool. Um, it's not made by Nvidia or AMD or anyone like that. There's just a, a, this guy named Jeremy Main who makes it. Um, it's a pretty cool tool where you can just look at the frame buffer, it gives you some really interesting information, and you can spit it out on a spreadsheet and come up with some cool graphs. In my line of work, it's mainly used for figuring out how big of a frame buffer you need for VMs when you're deploying um, enter enterprise-grade hardware for like BDI instances and things like that. And that's what I'll be using it for in the future. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.